In this tutorial, we will use Relens 2 Lap Long to directly convert 280 degree super fisheye footage to latitude longitude panoramic format suitable for 360 video viewers. We will start by creating a project in Final Cut Pro 10. It's pretty straightforward because Final Cut gives you the choice between 3840 by 1920 and 4096 by 2048 when you choose the 360 video format. We will choose 3840 by 1920 and the 29.97 frame rate. The next thing you should do, because most of our plugins do not run in real time, so having Final Cut Pro's background render preference can really slow interactivity and usability. We suggest you turn off the background rendering by using Final Cut Pro's menu. Final Cut Pro, Preferences, select the Playback tab and make sure background render is not checked. Next, we will add a constant color generator to the timeline. We need a generator because Final Cut Pro doesn't allow us to change the resolution of the source clip. So we don't add the fisheye footage to the timeline directly, but we add a generator. The generator should match the project's 360 settings, which would be 4096 by 2048, or in our case 3840 by 1920. We apply Relens to the generator and add the fisheye footage to the clip well in Relens. So the input is the fisheye sequence and the output is a 360 sequence at the project's resolution. The way to set the clip well requires a few steps. First, you click on the empty clip well. Then you will see two buttons that say Apply Clip or Cancel. Next, you would select the clip that you want to use in the library making sure the yellow lines encompass the entire duration. Otherwise, you will only get a portion of the clip in time since the yellow line indicates which parts of the clip you're selecting to use in the clip well. You will then click on Apply Clip. You will need to reselect the generator so the relens settings come back. Make sure to switch the source type to fisheye equidistant or fisheye equisolid as per the lens manufacturer and set the field of view of the lens. In this example, we will use 280 as the field of view and fisheye equisolid as the source type. The next step is to switch to interactive setup and adjust the radius and center to match the footage. We can move the center and adjust the radius by selecting the circle UI edge and moving it in or out to align with the edge of the image. We can adjust the center of the circle as well by selecting either of the crossing lines in the center of the circle. The last step is to unclick the interactive setup so that the 360 projection is shown, converting the fisheye footage to 360 footage. This will be your 360 output. One last little mention for this tutorial. You should orient the horizon line by setting the orientation XYZ as appropriate to get the horizon line straight and horizontal. In this case, we will move the orientation X to get the horizon line more or less straight. If you want to further orient the 360 footage, make sure to use the output tilt pan roll settings of Relens and do not use the Final Cut Pro's reorient controls. This is necessary due to the way that Final Cut Pro works internally so we provide our own set of controls to replace the reorient controls that Final Cut Pro provides that you might normally use. 